Well, congratulations, first of all. You're going to the G. Has um, <laughs> that sunk in yet? Um, not just yet. Probably tomorrow when we're on the plane. But yeah, it was. Yeah, it's one of those things. We were very lucky that the skies cleared and enabled us to have a game. And um, yeah, we were lucky that we stuck to our guns and come out with the win. When you're sitting in the dressing room and you're seeing it pour a little bit, what do you do? What are you sat there thinking? <laughs> go away um, yeah it's hard we, you know all day today we've obviously seen the rain fall and um, we saw it fall yesterday but then it cleared up and we were able to train and we were just hoping that there would be some sort of wind to blow it away um, yeah it's you know I do feel sorry for England to go out the way they did to not even get an opportunity to play um, yeah I could only imagine how devastating that would have been for us um, if we were in that position as well and from a mental perspective, to keep yourself ready like that, is, is, that, a, is that a difficult task for you? Uh, yes and no. I think we're, we sort of were prepared. Um, we obviously spoke about it a little bit in our meeting. Be prepared, you know, for the 20 overs or the shorter format if, if it went to that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of... I actually felt we were pretty calm. We had nothing to lose at the end of the day. Um, if we didn't get out there, if we didn't play, we weren't going through. So, um, yeah, I felt that the group was very calm and relaxed and... We knew we only had one shot at it, really. And coming into that team, how do you sort of, um, what's your approach personally when you're, when you're out there ready to bowl? Oh, it's the same if I'm not playing. Um, I still try and warm up the same. I still try and do everything else the same. Um, just go out there and try and be as clear and focused when I'm out there with what, it, what I'm trying to achieve. And um, yeah, I was lucky tonight that I was able to do that. And we've seen from this Australia team that you need all 15 players. How important has <laughs> that been when they're not injured, of course, for them? You know, with, with the other teams coming up and, and being as competitive as they are, that you know, this isn't just three or four star players that Australia can rely on anymore. Yeah, I think variety is, is a pretty key thing, especially in T20 cricket. Like, you don't want it to be too predictable. Um, and we've been pretty lucky being able to bring people in and out and um, you know, still being able to play their roles and get the wins, which I think gives a lot of confidence in the group, knowing that no matter who takes the field, that they can get the job done. I think that's a massive boost for our group, especially obviously now losing Elise Perry as well, knowing that we still have girls that can come into the side, take on those roles and still come out on top. Um, thought, thought back to the first game against India and, and how the journey has gone since then. You know, you've had to play pretty much, um, pretty much perfect cricket since. Yeah, I think we'll obviously have to look back at that game against India, what we did wrong moving forward. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a roller coaster World Cup for us. You know, obviously losing the first game, our backs were against the wall for the whole tournament. We, you know, we come up against New Zealand in a must-win game as well, and to get over the line there and. Um, yeah, it's just been a roller coaster of emotions, really, this World Cup, and just felt like the whole time that our backs have been against the wall. But we, yeah, we found something at the end to get through. So is that when you're your strongest? I think when, when you've got, you know, is everything on the line? I think it's everything on the line, but it's also we only have one shot at it as well. Um, you know, tonight we knew if we didn't get out there, we weren't going to go through. So we knew the minute that we got out there that this is it. We only had one shot at it. So I think it comes with. Um, it allows us to play with freedom and um, that really aggressive cricket that we wanted because we know that if, if we weren't able to do that, we weren't going to make it anyway. The pressure's been on you pretty much from the start, but I mean you personally, you, you as a team. <laughs> yeah. um, have you felt that going through the tournament and knowing how important it is and you know, all the talks have been about, oh, it's really going to be the final, etc. You know what it's been like better than anyone. How, how do you go through that? Um, I think after the first game, definitely. Um, yeah, losing the first game to India in a home World Cup, um, obviously with a lot of eyes watching, probably wasn't the ideal start and does put a lot of pressure back on us. But, um, you know, it just shows where this group's at and the character it has to be able to really fight back. And we haven't relied on one person. You know, obviously Mooney's been um, amazing with how consistent she's been, but we've also had players around her being able to stand up and, and get the job done as well. So, um, yeah, it's really pleasing that we've, you know, we've had to use everyone in our squad, but everyone's actually come in and done that job as well. Are you two and a bit days away from the biggest game of your career? Probably, yes. Um, and I can't do anything but smile. Like, at the end of the day, this is what we live for. This is what we wanted. Um, you know, family, friends, packed MCG. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. And as you said, mentioned your family there. Have, have they been travelling around with you? Uh, my parents live in Western Australia, so they obviously come to the games over there, and they've flown to Melbourne today, actually. So... Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. I, ha I haven't really got to play many games for my country in front of my mum and dad, so um, to be able to do that in a World Cup final, family, friends, you know, past players, present players, people from all around the world, um, yeah, I can only imagine what it's going to be like. Have you allowed yourself to think about, you know, what's your experiences of the G, if any? Um, not many, if any. So, 
yeah, I've only played there once and that was with no one there watching, so um, who knows what Sunday will bring. Thank you very much. No worries, thank you. <laughs>